Hi everyone, welcome back to the episode of Ask Dr. Nick. My name is Dr. Nick Schmilkoffer and I work for the Neurologic Wellness Institute. And today's episode, we are gonna answer the question, how can vagus nerve stimulation improve stroke rehab? And this is an important one because stroke is very, very common or a, have, having a stroke is very common and there are a lot of deleterious effects after a stroke, especially um, with motor function, especially like the upper upper arm or the leg. And it can lead to balance problems, it can lead to functional issues, being not able to use a mouse or a computer, um, to write, to properly eat. Um, and then we also have things obviously like difficulty speaking uh, after a stroke. And so I wanna talk about how vagus nerve stimulation, which our vagus nerve, we typically think of more for our gut and our rest and digest and anti-inflammatory but the vagus nerve does a lot of great things for us and how that paired with rehabilitation, paired with typical rehab, typical physical therapy rehab for a stroke can help improve outcomes. And so we're gonna look at uh, a paper from 2021 about this topic. So let's get right to that. Um, so here it is, it's called vagus nerve stimulation paired with rehabilitation for upper limb motor function after ischemic stroke. Uh, and it's a randomized, blinded, pivotal um, device trial. So basically everybody was implanted with a vagus nerve stimulation device. Okay, so again, it's from The Lancet 2021. Let's take a look here. Um, we know that a long-term loss of arm function after a stroke is very common and it might be improved by vagus nerve stimulation. This has been seen in uh, preclinical studies, so basically rat studies. Um, in this study, again, it was triple blinded. So basically the participants didn't know if they were getting vagus nerve stimulation. The people that were, um, were doing the study did not know and the people that were testing um, the groups on their motor function did not know. Oh, and the, uh, the physical therapist did not know. <clears throat> um, so and controlled, it's done 19 different stroke rehabilitation services in the UK and USA. Um, participants had moderate to severe arm weakness at least nine months after a stroke. Uh, they were randomly assigned to either the rehab group paired with vagus nerve stimulation or the rehab group with a sham stimulation. That was the control group. Um, so their baseline was this fugal Meyer assessment upper extremity score. Um, and basically um, people with more moderate had uh, 20 to 35 versus more severe 26 to 50 um, and so uh, or I should say more moderate 36 to 50 underneath um, 20 to 35 or that's a worse score um, then everybody was implanted with the vagus nerve stimulation device the vagus nerve group received a specific stimulation um, and the control group did not receive any the participants received this stimulation for six weeks of in-clinic therapy, three times per week for 18 sessions. Uh, and then they also had an at-home exercise program. Okay, and so they primarily looked at, was there a change in this FMA, uh, FMA UE score um, from the first day of completion of the clinical therapy? And then also 90 days after it was the therapy maintained, or I should say, was were the progress maintained after 90 days. Um, and so of the 108 par participants, um, there are 53 in the treatment group and 55 in the control group. Okay, on the first day after completion of the clinic therapy, um, the mean score increased by five points in the vagus nerve stimulation group, but only 2.4 points in the control group. Okay, so that was a clinical uh, difference that was high enough. And then 90 days after therapy, they, uh, there were more people, more patients, that had um, achieved basically a clinical meaningful response um, from the vagus nerve therapy. That was 23 of the 53 patients, so 47%, versus only 13%, 30% of the control group patients had a meaningful response. So therefore, what they concluded is that vagus nerve stimulation paired with typical rehab can be this very good potential treatment option for people that are suffering from motor function issues long-term after a stroke. And so 
Um, that's just the abstract. There's no, there's nothing really good else about the paper um, to, to, to focus on. And so I just wanna show like why this is possible. And so we're gonna go to another paper here. Um, it is from 2020. It's basically just talking about transcutaneous. So basically on the skin, auricular on the ear, vagus nerve stimulation. Um, the last paper was talking about a vagus nerve implanted device that's obviously implanted uh, as the vagus nerve runs down the neck. This one here is how transcutaneous auricular vagal nerve stimulation can improve disorders of consciousness. I just like this paper because it has a good photo uh, or a good picture that we can kind of describe what was going on here uh, from the previous paper. So we have basically multiple pathways that the auricular branch of the vagus nerve um, or the ear branch of the vagus nerve, if we stimulate it, can improve outcomes with stroke. And so uh, what the previous paper recommended or suggested is it could be due to these different neurotransmitter uh, increases like ser serotonin, noradrenaline, noradrenaline or um, noradrenergic system. Um, and so here we want to kind of talk about these two. So the norepinephrine and serotonin, these systems come from the brainstem, okay, deep within the brain. And there is direct connections from this vagus nerve or the vagus nerve into the um, nucleus tractus solitarius and the trigeminal nucleus, basically two nuclei in the brainstem that receive vagal nerve stimulation. And they talk to and activate the locus ceruleus and the raphae nucleus, releasing norepinephrine and serotonin respectively. And these projections are vast throughout the whole brain. And what it does is it helps to improve um, areas of like executive function, executive network, the default mode network, multiple networks in the brain that can therefore not only activate the brain to improve these outcomes that we're seeing with just typical rehab, um, but give the, give the brain that extra push, that extra, extra summation to improve where that rather than it gives it synergy rather than like one plus one equals two it's one plus one equals four or six because that synergy helps to improve outcomes that much faster okay so if we take a step back vagus nerve stimulation paired with rehab paired with typical physical therapy rehab for strokes can really improve outcomes um, as seen by this previous paper on the Lancet. Um, and how does that happen? It happens because we know the vagus nerve can uh, improve anti-inflammatory effects. And so therefore it can decrease inflammation. It can add serotonin and norepinephrine into the brain and therefore help to improve the overall outcome, improve the neuroplasticity that is going on within that brain. And so this is where I think it's important that when you are done with typical stroke uh, rehab that you might get at an inpatient center is to seek out somebody, seek out care that you can use vagus nerve stimulation with rehab to massively improve your outcomes uh, even further so that you can have better control over an arm or a leg um, following a stroke. So I hope you guys like this one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any suggestions for future topics, I would love to hear them. Thanks again and have a great day. Stay healthy.